Let's talk about files. Their main purpose is to store the digital data that comes with every application that you code. Matter of fact, if you're a current programmer, no matter the language that you're using, you need to know file manipulation because they are actually very important not only in storing, but also transferring information from computer to computer. The first method that I'm going to show you guys is the open method and the read method that is in file manipulation. So we're going to create a file object. I'm going to call mine file, not very original, but it does the job. And I'm going to use the open method, which is by the way, built into Python. Over here, you see that open can take a string as an argument. And to do so, your string is simply going to be the title of your file, which mine is secret message right here. So we're going to pass it. txt and in order for us to get the message inside of it we're simply going to read it and you call out the read method which is also built into python for your information so basically the open method will take the title of your file and then the read method is going to read whatever string is inside of it and of course if you want to print it into the console you're going to want to create a variable a string variable so message will be my string variable. It's going to receive the, the string that is returned from read and we're going to print it onto the screen. Let's see what is going to happen. All right. What do we see here? Like and subscribe to Thinking Through Code, please. And I just want to say a huge thank you guys for all the 50 subscribers that I got in my first months in YouTube. You have no idea how much you guys mean to me and I truly appreciate the support and your encouraging comments in how I'm working hard on this. So much love to you all. Now it's time to see the other operation that you can use with file manipulation. We know that the read method will simply open up our file and take whatever is inside of it and return it as a string, which is what we did with our message previously. However, what if you want to add something into it or you want to write something into it? You're going to use the write method. So the write method from where you can see the ID is telling you that it's going to take self, which is your file object on its own. And the S right here refers to a string. So whatever you put in quotation marks in here will appear on your file. So we're going to write hello YouTube. And when we run our application, what do we see? Bam, we have an error. And the errors happens at line five of our code, obviously, and file that right. Hello, YouTube. So we know that this line of code is what triggered this problem. And the error on its own says that it's an IO error and it says unsupported operation, not writable. Why is that? It's because you did not specify a mode when you opened the file. Remember that the open method not only will take the name of your file as it is, but also if you want to write or append to it, you need to specify a mode or else by default, the mode is only on read. So when you, when you just open the file without specifying the mode, you're only going to be able to read something inside of it, right? But if you want to write something inside of it, you need to specify the mode when you're opening uh, the file with this method. All right. So now that I put the W right here for writing, uh, you're going to be able to write inside of it. So remember guys, there's going to be three modes, read, write and append append i'm going to show you guys what it does but for now we're just going to use a w and when i run the application once again we have an error simply because now we cannot use the read method when we have our file that's open right here so we're going to take away all of that and run it again process finish with exit code zero which is great so that means that nothing went wrong we're going to go see our file what's inside of there hello youtube that's exactly what we wanted However, you see some limitation right here and you guessed it, right? Whenever you have a file with all this data inside of it, why would you delete the rest of the data just to write a new line? This doesn't really make much sense. That's why I think out there when people are using files with Python, I don't think they're using the W mode that many times. They're probably using reading a file be if a file is not supposed to be modified or the append inside of a file and what an when the what the append mode does is that it will actually add on top of whatever lines are already there so instead of just saying hello youtube we're gonna add a new line and we're just simply just gonna say this is a new line when i run this application 
once again we're at exit code zero and then remember the right method is still valid right it doesn't have to be mode of writing for you to use the right method but now since we're appending you're writing and adding onto it so hello youtube this is a new line excellent and if i wouldn't have taken this you're gonna see it's simply just gonna add right to it inside of your string. So obviously be mindful of this whenever you're manipulating files. So that's it. That's all the three modes that you need to understand when using files inside of a Python code. It's read, write, and append. However, there is one last thing that you need to do whenever you're manipulating a file and it's to close it at the end. So you close your file and close will only take self, the object, simply because is the object referring to your file and you closed it why do you need to close it because your operating system actually has a limit of file handling operations it can do when a file is open so if you forget to close many files this can run into the limit and that can crash your whole application or your whole program as it is in python now this is this will never be the case with us right because we know that we're only controlling one file but if for example you come up with a very complex software that can use millions and millions of files then that can become very very problematic so this causes another issue as a programmer is that you're human you make mistakes it is very possible that after many lines of code that you write when you open a file you forget to write this one line and don't worry about it there is another segue into this video called the with keyword operator which exactly solves this problem so with the with keyword operator you can simply delete this line of code because it is no longer needed and you need to simply restructure the way you write your code before open you simply add with right there and if you want to have your file object of course we need it you put as file and then you put a colon right there. Remember that now these lines of code that follow need to be indented. It's that it's as simple as that, guys. You simply just add with uh, before you're open, before you open your file and you set up the mode, and then you set up your object right after with the keyword as. So with and as. That's very important in order for you to finally manipulate files, and then you won't need to run that line that closes the file at the end because python will recognize that you're using the proper keywords that it will automatically close your file and this works with all modes you know you can read the file you can write in it and now we're obviously appending in it but i also forgot two very important modes guys and it is the read and write so that's an r plus what this mode will allow you to do is not only to read a file but also to write in it so we're gonna print what's in our file right now into the console, and then we're gonna write a new line and we're gonna check it out. Run this application. Hello YouTube, this is a new line, this is a new line. That's the code that we used to have from our last, uh, last script that we had. And now we're adding a new line we should see below these, this is a new line once again. We go into secret messages and there you have it, this is a new line. Now for the other useful mode, we're talking about W plus. And we'll see what happens here. So we're gonna run the application. Okay, so nothing prints out when we read it. And then when we go into secret messages.txt, we see this is a new line. Why is that? Because of the cursor position inside of your file so when you're doing r plus the cursor not only does it conserve the data before it doesn't delete it but the cursor is placed at the beginning of the file so that's why you were able to print out whatever was inside of the file and then add this later on but when you write into the file whatever is beforehand it's going to be deleted and then this is this becomes the new beginning position of the file so that's basically what happened here when we decided to write this is a new line and we weren't reading anything because everything got deleted but what happens when i put append in here so we're gonna run this application nothing prints out again print file that read basically did not show me this is a new line which was already there however we did append a new line why is that once again is because of the position of your cursor whenever you're using this mode this mode actually when you're using the a plus is when your cursor is 
actually right here so this is the beginning of your file so when i printed whatever was inside of the file it's only printing whatever is after where my cursor is positioned so there was nothing there right which is exactly what happened and then it adds it on and you can also find this information in uh, geeks for geeks by the way this is this is very clear explanation on what are w a w plus a plus and r plus do and they pretty much show you that the cursor p positions itself depending on the mode that you're reading inside of your file so that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for listening if you're still here at the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe and press that notification bell i appreciate you guys leave a comment down below if i made a mistake or if you believe that i need to improve in something i will always listen to you guys thank you very much